Well, today marks the start of Coley McCraney's murder case, one of the most anticipated cases in Wiregrass history. But first, I have to see the 12 member jury. WDHN's Aaron Dixon has been at the Dale County Courthouse since this morning. Joins us live from the courthouse with the latest details. Good evening, Aaron. Good evening, Mike. Yeah, I'm outside of the Dale County Courthouse where jur jury selection has been put on hold, but it is expected to pick up back up tomorrow after crews just left the scene after repairing the air conditioning that went out through parts of the Dale County Courthouse. Now today, only about a third of the prospective 300 jurors appeared for jury selection for the case of McCraney, a man accused of killing J.B. Beasley and Tracy Hollett in 1999. But last Thursday, court documents revealed that 147 of the jurors had been dismissed. And if and if the and of the possible 153 remaining jurors, only 102 appeared in the courtroom today, some with prior jury experience. And the numbers continue to dwindle as people are being excused for a variety of reasons, including health ailments, undue hardship, county residences, among other reasons. Some notable questions asked by attorneys before lunch included, did anybody watch or keep up with the Alex Murdoch trial? This was asked by Attorney General Steve Marshall and several raised their hands. Another question was by McCraney's attorney, David Harrison, and he asked how many of you would like to serve on this jury and two hands went up. After lunch, after the lunch break, the number of 102 jurors went all the way down to 75. Tomorrow, the jurors still needing to be questioned will be asked about the knowledge of the murder case and questions on their stance on the death penalty. Those will likely continue into tomorrow afternoon. Now, last August, this case attempted to go to trial but was labeled a mistrial after they saw a small jury pool of only 75 prospective jurors. And the judge said it wasn't due to the jurors' opinion on the death penalty. Judge William Fillmore told the court in August that they need at least 38 jurors to choose from and other jury questions were they were unable to reach that. Now, both sides are very optimistic that they'll be able to seat a jury by tomorrow afternoon or at the latest Wednesday morning. So we will then go into opening arguments from there and we will be off and running. Mike. Now, Aaron, with all this in mind, when do you anticipate a jury to be seated? Of course, last August, the two sides couldn't find 12 impartial jurors. Now, Mike, like I said, they're very optimistic and like it's more likely that we're going to be seeing a jury seated by tomorrow afternoon as they made it through about 15 to 20 interviews before the air conditioning problem. So there's still about 60 to, you know, 55 jurors remaining. So hopefully they'll find out of that pool because last year around uh, in August, they were dealing with less than that. So we have a lot more options to seat a jury this time. All right, thank you so much, Aaron, and keep it on WDHN for continuing coverage of the McCraney murder trial. We have gavel to gavel coverage. Jury selection continues tomorrow morning. You can also click on McCraney murder trial on our website, WDHN.com. It will take you to all the latest stories on this case.